Hello and welcome to Aurelian University. In this video, we're going to talk about the second conjugation, present indicative passive. So it's pretty similar to the first conjugation, present indicative passive, where we had amor, amaris, except for instead of those a's, we're going to have these e's. And they'll be long in pretty much the same places where the a's were long in the first conjugation. Also, this is a characteristic of both the uh, passive and the active. Also, I probably should have mentioned this in the active, but we see you see here we have moneor, uh, this E here, sort of, <clears throat> um, it goes before the O, so it's, it's an E-O ending instead of just an O ending. So that's different. In the first conjugation, we didn't have an A-O ending. So that would be one difference where the E's aren't just interchangeable. But we also have these R's, like we did with the first conjugation, that sort of stick around. And you see them in, I guess, five out of the six forms. So that's pretty um, characteristic of the passive. And so our, our forms here are monior, moneris, monetur, monemur, monetis, monentur. Also, if you see this monentur here, you can also tell uh, the accent is there because it's a short vowel followed by two syllables, or sorry, two consonants. And so the uh, stress sticks to the second to last syllable in the case that the second to last syllable is followed by two consonants. So. That's another example of that stress rule that we that I, I didn't get to show you in the first example, or in the first conjugation present indicative active video. Um, but if you if you remember your pronouns, how they work here, first person so it includes the speaker singular, so just I. Uh, that would be I am warned, we are warned, you singular are warned. You plural, so you guys are warned. He, she, or it is warned, so just one individual who is neither the speaker nor the listener, and they are warned. So altogether, the second conjugation is uh, present indicative passive is, is pretty uh, easy to get if you know the, the second conjugation present indicative active and the second, first conjugation present indicative passive.